But first breaking news, a crane collapses in Edgewater, shutting down some red and purple lines. This rush hour commute. Let's get right to CBS 2's Jermont Terry live on the scene with what he's learned. Jermont. Well, Brad, within the last 10 minutes, I can now let you know that all CTA trains are back running here along Bryn Mawr. But over my shoulder, I want to show you what caused all of this issue, the issues here. You can see that there is a crane that is toppled over. We're told that that crane operator was in the middle of drilling, and then all of a sudden, in the process, he lost its balance, and what you see here played out. Now, take a look at the video when we arrived on scene here in Edgewater, right along Bryn Mawr and Winthorpe. You can see the, the just how mag, the magnitude of this situation where this crane was toppling over. At this hour, we do know that it also took down some nearby power lines, causing people in the area, nearby building, to lose power and people to be forced to evacuate from that building. I want to show you some images from people inside the building, giving a different vantage point. It go, shows from higher up. You can see that the crane also toppled down onto a car that was parked in this area. I had a chance to talk to a man who actually was on his balcony. He was intrigued by all the work that was going on, but in the process of looking out, he witnessed this crane lose its balance and topple down. Take a listen. And all the construction guys started to yell like, no, no, no. And the whole thing started to come over and I just turned around and started to run away from the crane. And right now we can report the crane operator was not injured. He refused medical attention. And as of right now, no one else is injured. It's going to take investigators some time to remove this in, this piece of equipment, heavy equipment, and get it upright. So Bryn Mawr here at Winthorpe will be shut down in the process. But right now, all CTA trains along this area are back up and running. For now, reporting live with breaking news in Edgewater, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. No injuries. Good news there. Thank you, Jermont.